morning guys it is Tuesday April 26th about 7 a.m. right now getting ready to uh, get a little work done before I have to go to my last bio lab of the year I have a project to turn in and an exam to do so I'm going to get some of this work done now because last night I did not want to pull an all-nighter so I went to bed at 3 um, then I woke up about a half an hour ago, like 6.30, so going to get some of this work done now, but I have a very busy day ahead. In bio, I have this project due, I have that lab exam, and then the next class I have a final term paper due, and in the following class, uh, which is my late class that you guys always hear me talking about on my Tuesday nights that really make my Tuesdays busy, I have a final presentation over all of our research and analysis from this entire semester. So, um, very busy day, but getting it started right, going to get some of this work done, probably listen to a podcast while I get some of this work done, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next clip. All right, guys, so getting ready to head to class right now, and what I'm wearing today, if you guys are wondering what kind of stuff I wear on a daily basis, um, my outfits are very cheap. So um, the shoes I'm wearing today, I got from H&M. These were $32. I got these pants from H&M. These pants were $30. And this shirt was $6 from H&M. So do I get all my stuff from H&M? No, I don't. But do I get a lot of it from there? Yeah, I do. Because one, it's cheap. And two... I think it looks pretty decent, honestly. And in my opinion, you don't need the big brand name, expensive stuff to look good. As long as you carry whatever you're wearing with confidence, you're gonna look good regardless. So um, be confident in whatever you wear. Doesn't matter how much you're wearing, like how expensive your clothes are. As long as you're confident, you're smiling throughout the day, you're gonna look good. So I'm um, about to head to class now, um, get this biology out of the way, and uh, oh, I'm so ready to be done with this class. All right, guys, so just got back from class, picked up some lunch on my way back, stopped at the dining court and got a um, little thing to go. What I got inside this little box is a bag of sun chips and then a like a pork barbecue sandwich with macaroni and cheese and a thing of baked beans and then sweet baby ray sauce for the... Uh, pork barbecue sandwich so going to eat that and honestly when I'm really busy and I don't have time to like go to the dining court and sit or go eat at like Chipotle or Subway or something like that and sit down um, this is my go-to it's quick simple and plus because I work here on campus um, it's free so um, I usually get that when I'm in a hurry but going to eat that real quick I have a paper to finish up for my next class like I said earlier today but uh, I'm going to eat this i uh, get that paper done, and uh, see you guys in the next clip. All right, guys, so getting ready to head to my last class of the day. I have a presentation in this one. Uh, i got to get gas first because I am driving on E just like my body is right now, running on E. But you know what? It's getting close to the end of the school year now, so we make it work. But, um, yeah, have to get gas first and go to my... Methodolo educational methodology class where I have a presentation so looking forward to that or something like that but um, last time we meet for that class so very excited and um, then we're going to hit chest and shoulders um, we will have a guest showing up so you guys will see who it is they should be familiar at this point but I'm um, gonna go get a workout in after that and wish me luck Who's on with you? Who's on with you? Just say, okay, I'm here right now today. Now, uh, tomorrow I'm way over here. It doesn't work that way. You have to accept what's going on in your life right now if you want to make it better. You can't make excuses. You can't say, you know, the reason why this happened was because uh, so and so did this to me. Uh, the reason why this happened is because that person said this to me. No, like, no one controls your actions but you. No one controls them, okay? Um, well, there she is, but kind of struggling to get into my parking lot she was over here I saw her at the movie theater parking lot and then she pulled into the bank 
see if she can actually make it over here to the gym parking lot. Let's see if she can do it. Turn left. Turn left. Hey. Now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> uh, she's going to hate me if I put this up. All right, guys. So warming up on bench right now. Okay, Zoom's good. Warming up on bench. As you guys saw, who was driving in was her. Was ready. <laughs> so we're getting in a chest and shoulders workout right now. She's starting out with shoulders, I'm starting out with bench, and then we'll kind of uh, come together to do some accessory stuff towards the end. But right now, starting out on flat bench, not really sure what I'm gonna work up to, but you guys will see. exercise what we do we're doing a cable fly from the bottom up really focusing and targeting the upper chest and as you see I go down on my knees for this the reason I do that is because a lot of times if you're standing up for instance people try to get balanced by putting one foot in front of the other and that instantly kind of disaligns your entire body one side's pulling more than the other one so I go down make everything even put everything in alignment and then you also take momentum out of it and all you're doing is focusing on your chest. And focus on the squeeze of the, at the top of it. So squeeze, hold it for a second or two, and then slow back. Squeeze, slow back. And here, reps anywhere from 12 to 15, just really focusing on the squeeze. guys so finished up that chest and shoulder workout vlogging. as she's Vlog. vlogging me <laughs> so everybody say bye to Sarah for now yeah go ahead and finish up my vlog you'll see for me. you'll see here again soon am I finishing up the whole video yeah okay well, well no you're not because I have to do some more okay well food. I'll wrap most of it up you can actually cut this if you want and wrap up your video <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching I really do appreciate you guys taking time out of your day to watch Sarah's channel I know it means a lot to her means a lot to me so if you guys really did like the video make sure to click that thumbs up button she's gonna appreciate it it's gonna help more people see it if you haven't subscribed yet go down hit that red subscribe button it's so easy it's just so do it better. thank you guys again so much for watching she'll see you in the next video <laughs> peace wrapping up my video all right guys so just got home from the gym uh, hitting shoulders and chest uh, with Sarah and I was honestly going to yeah, I got a pillow pet, don't judge. Um, but I was honestly going to uh, take all the footage that I've got from today, um, from class, from work, from driving, from the workout. It's going to take all that footage, edit it up tonight before I go to sleep. That way you guys can see it first thing in the morning. But I've been up since 6.30, and this is the first time that I've really sat down or laid down I guess but um, woke up at 6.30 instantly got to work and then in between classes I was getting school work done and I had presentations I had exams and then I hit a awesome chest and shoulders workout and you know what <laughs> I think I'm going to do myself a favor and just go to sleep it's 11.50 almost midnight and I think I'm just going to call it a night and go to sleep and edit this tomorrow and maybe have it up in the afternoon 
or maybe just put it up a Thursday morning. We shall see. So um, that's going to wrap up the video, though. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. This is the second time you guys are seeing an outro. So you already know the deal. Like, share, subscribe. I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace.